What's up guys, Barry Gaming here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we're on our what seems like daily content for the free to play series. I hope you guys are enjoying it because I'm having a blast, and honestly one of the best times of an account is the very early game, planning out your progress, and we're doing a pretty good job. We're up to just over 15,000 gems. Uh, again, we're really hunting that 20,000 gem mark to get the 10 star so we don't have to do any fusions or anything. We are getting closer to the thousand gems here in chapter 36. We need about one and a half levels. We have to get to level 90. Uh, and I think we can get that. I think we're getting a little under one level a day. So being that today is Tuesday morning, we have about two and a half days left until the end of the week. So I think think we can get this done because if we can get this thousand gems done we already have chapter 37 done which is another thousand gems and then after that we will be at another stopping point because there's no way we can finish out the campaign progress by then so that's another two thousand gems easily acquirable we just gotta pray we have the time to get enough experience in campaign Whew, okay, I did try my hand at 10 more wishing coins at a Rogan. I did whiff, which felt bad, but it did give us some more gold so that we can do another thing today, and that is continue leveling up Soaring Phoenix Aura and getting it almost up to level 30. So we almost actually have enough resources in general. Actually, how much is that? So let's just say roughly 400 average. We need six more. We need about 2,400. So we're getting kind of close to being able to max out all the auras for our Phoenix, which will in turn give us more progress in the glory challenge here, giving us more resources and chaos stones and a ton of monster souls. So getting the Phoenix up to level 120 after we get this guy finished is going to be the next big task because when you get to level 120, you will unlock the rune system, which is pretty much where a lot of your power comes from for your pet. But since we've done that and we have a couple changes here, I wanna now see if we can get past where we were previously, previously stuck, the healer wave, so to speak. So let's jump in here. I have our Eloise set up currently in a very offensive setup. Um, I think we need to run resilience in here and let's run vitality, but we'll leave might for more attack and we're using an offensive artifact. Let's see with the boost of the monster aura, if that's enough to actually finish this wave right here. Now I'm hoping we get a stun off. We didn't stun anybody, but hopefully we can do enough damage now to kill off some targets here in the next round or two. Now both these Ignis are gonna feed into our Eloise, which is gonna be perfect, giving them CC reduction just in case Michelle or something hits us with something. We should have a lesser chance to get hit with it. Now the challenge is don't get nuked by the Vesses. Now, ultimately, I think the way we're going to beat this wave is if either one, we kill a Vesa very early, which is a very low chance because Vesa is our problem here. What we really need to happen is in round one, we need this Krush to manage to stun one of the two Vesses so they offset their uh, active abilities. When they're having the actives on the same round, it's going to be extremely, extremely difficult for our Eloise to kill, or rather not even kill them off, just survive simply. Because that could be a huge issue for us here. Even if we're killing off other enemies, having two Vest actives in a row, if they crit, will just completely nuke us into oblivion. Uh, this could be a good round, although next round we have two Vest actives incoming. Oh, we lived through one. We live through another. No, we got crit by the Gurk. So we might be able to make progress here. We might not. Uh, just have to see. Come on. Come on, Cruz. Oh, we stunned a Gurk. So I think that's going to be a wipe. Let's just see if my theory proves correct. If we do get a stun on one of the Vestas in round one, we have a higher chance of winning this. Come on. No stun there. We got a stun on the Ormus. Defeat. Come on, we can do something here. We can do something here. I got faith. 
Come on, Cruz. Come on, Cruz. Oh, we stunned the Ormus again. Those Vesta actives are going to be so, so deadly. Come on, Cruz. Come on, Cruz. You can do this, Cruz. Oh, we got one of the Vestas. All right, let's see if we can somehow make this happen. It's a possibility. You never know. It could happen. Let's see. So the Vesta actives are staggered now. So we're not going to be taking gigantic. Granted, one Vesta can still completely nuke us from like 100% to nothing. But the chance of that happening is much lower than having two of them hit us. And then also have to deal with a Gurk. Um, this is looking pretty good. Oh, no. It was so close. So close. So yeah, we should be able to get this done eventually. We'll just end up smashing it though. And if... We'll eventually get it done. So that was our offensive setup. But what we're going to do now is swap to a different game mode here. Um, let me go to my Tixes. One of you guys have my artifact, right? Yeah, there it is. The HP artifact. We're just going to do a little swap here. A little swap back. You can have an offensive artifact. So here's what we're going to do. Nothing on you, right? All right. So let's finish her setup. We're not going to spend any gold on the stone right now, which feels bad, I know, but it's just what has to be. We want to go to dot purify, I believe. Although we could try resilience too. Still no skin, feels bad. Um, let's see what we can do in ceiling. I'm pretty sure we can get 10 done now that we have a second ticks on our account. But let's see. I'm hoping it's enough attack reduction in the early rounds to hopefully keep our Eloise nice, nice and healthy here. I'm honestly thinking Resilience might be the better pick than Poison Removal for the time being. But we'll see. We have a really good chance to clearing this one. Yep. So we get 10 done, which is huge. Getting 10 done is giving us an extra hit every single day, or rather extra smash every day, which is going to convert into even more four-star income, which is amazing. So we'll give a couple tries here. See if we can make a little bit more progress. They're hitting kind of hard. Ooh, they're hitting really hard. Nope, we're not doing anything there. Let's try going back to our resilient setup and see if that is good enough to get us maybe one more level. And after this, the next checkpoint is essentially getting a sea lane 15 where you'll get your uh, last extra hit, I believe. I think that's at 15 or maybe it's just at 10. I can't remember. Um, So the healing does seem to be doing a little bit better. We'll give it one more try because I don't want to waste all my attempts right here because I'll show you what else we're going to try to do today. In order to try to generate as much four star income as possible, you want to still make sure you're hitting all of the different sea lands. So we'll just end it right there. We'll do the extra smash, get more resources. We need to take a look at all the other factions. Now, light, Aos might be able to do something with the pet. You'd be surprised what level ones can do once you get your monster, your pet leveled up to quite a bit. Even if your heroes aren't doing a ton of damage, the monster usually comes in and just absolutely nukes the enemy to oblivion. So as long as we live this round, which we should. Yeah, probably no point going for a second one as we want to use these very sparingly and smartly. Let's go over here and throw in our bleaker army with a penny. And we probably will get one more level cleared here. Even without swapping anything else around, we kind of have to get to the monster active, though, is the thing. If we can't get to the monster active, then we are not going to clear any more progress. Doesn't look like we are. So fortress is a no-go. Let's go over to forest. We do have a little bit more power, seeing that we have an Olivia here. I don't know if she can live enough to get level four done. But again, if we can just make it to an active on the Phoenix, yep, yeah, not going to happen. Not going to happen. That's where you just got to make sure and see maybe you can get some progress in certain places here. But again, really, it comes down to can your team live long enough? It's very, very difficult to live long enough once you get to level three because you're facing all five enemies instead of three enemies, which means there's a much lower chance your team's going to survive to your active right here, which is going to do huge damage to the enemy and going to generate you a little bit more four-star income. So make sure you try out 
up to level three and everything. Once you get to like level three though, you're kind of to the point where you're SOL. You can't really make any more progress. Uh, because once you have five enemies, they're just going to start one hitting all of your heroes and you're kind of out of luck. But this one, we should be able to get level two done as well. We can try level three. It might actually come out to work, which is just, you know, three more four stars, which I mean, it doesn't sound like a lot. But when you're doing this across all factions, it actually adds up to be a lot of good progress. Let's see if we can live through this round. Ooh, a double stun. Interesting. Does that get us to a Phoenix? Oh, it does not. All right. So it is what it is. The other thing I like doing is just coming in here, grabbing the elite 10 star shards as well. And now you have a look. We have an additional 21 four star heroes we can pull out, which can then turn into some five stars. Once I actually get three stars, that was a little bit of my mistake there. So not too bad. We got some progress. We have the additional smash in Shadow Sea Land. And now we can have even more four star income every single day to hopefully get our E5 hero on Thursday. I think it's going to be Thursday. We'll have to see. But hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Let me know what you guys think and let me know your experiences with the free to play series. I'm absolutely loving it. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. I'll see you guys next time.